Isn't Diane the, oh, the perfect one to, to be Penny? I mean, I'm in love with the real Penny, too. I mean, she's, let me see those two women here. We have speed? Anytime. Oh, anytime, okay. Randall, first of all, good to see you again. And Thank you, Jim. What a wonderful job of directing Secretary. One of my favorite films of the year right now. Oh, wow. Thank you. Uh, let's begin with, uh, it's easy when you look at the, when you see the film, you do understand why racehorsing is called the sport of kings. Yes. A lot of money involved, am I right? Well, there is a lot of money, and, and they're also regal. Uh, the, it's, it's also something that would be a challenge for a king because even no matter how much money you have, and there are examples now, of some of the richest men in the world have tried to have winners and they haven't been able to produce them. That's right. So the yeah. fact that this, this little housewife from Denver could take on all of those guys and, and beat them. And beat them. Yeah, it was and remarkable. Oh, your horse the, by these big uh, owners and everything. Uh, is it secretary? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a great moment. You wrote the Oscar winner Braveheart. Yes. And I like to think in this film that you've directed, Secretariat, there are two Bravehearts. Am I right? You know where, I, where I'm going with that? They're exactly right. I, I hadn't thought of it that way, but it's exactly appropriate to what this is. I don't think Penny, um, you know, I, I don't think the horse would have achieved what he did if it hadn't been for the heart of his owner. Yeah. And I and you know Penny needed Big Red also. Exactly. And Big uh, and Penny was with Big Red from the day it, it was born. Yeah. 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 And she um, you know it's, there's a funny thing about this. There's a moment in the movie in which which Penny looks into the eyes of the horse and and it's a really um, kind of glorious moment and a, a deep internal moment. And there's a way of interpreting that like well the woman is looking at the horse to, to find out what's inside the horse. But there's another element to this, that she's looking inside the horse to find out what's inside herself. Mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. that the other people around her who were the people she would have looked to for love and support, the people that loved her the most, were the ones saying, you're a housewife, you yeah. can't do this. And there's another element to the film, Randall, it's the father-daughter. Yes. I mean, she was paying tribute to him uh, and living up to what she expected from him. That's right, Jim. It's, yeah. it's, it's interesting that you, you, you picked that out because I had known that that was, that was an undercurrent, but it was after the movie was made and I was talking with Penny when she had seen it and I asked her what she thought and she said, you know, I didn't know how much pain and how isolated I'd been in until I'd seen the yeah, movie. Yeah. It, you didn't make it up, but I had I had shrugged all of that off, and it was so much like her father. The, her father was so much the standard in her life that reason, showed her how to live. That's right. The reason I wanted to ask you that is, as I told you, I've met Penny uh, several times, and she always brought that up about her dad. Yes. And incidentally, she always told me it would never be a movie <laughs> until she met Randall Wallace and Disney. I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow, that's, that's, that's high praise. I mean, Penny, Penny is one of those individuals who I believe would be rare any time and any place, yeah, yeah. but that we had her in 1973 when, when the world was changing and the country was bleak and nobody believed in the leaders and were mired in an unpopular war, and, and here we are in a similar situation and, and the spirit, that unconquerable assertion of this is who I am. This is how big life can be. Swept the nation. Swept, Swept the country, the yeah. And like Ron Howard's Apollo 13, we know the ending. Yes. We do know the Triple Crown in 1973. Uh, Secretary of wins it. But it's that journey to get there to the Belmont that makes this film so wonderful. Yes. And you know, Jim, it's like you, you brought up Braveheart. When, when you look at that story, I think the, the definition of heroism that comes through the end of that story was unexpected for people. You, you think that you're going to have a movie where, where everything ends up perfectly all right, but that redefined a different kind of heroism. In this film, it's the first one I've had in which a man can take you know, his partner to, and, and, and a man and a woman would sit there, and, and both of them 
have a, an exalted kind of experience and that you could even take children to and everybody would would be feeling the glory of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't had a film like that before and it's really exciting to, to it feel really that. Is.